Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to create collapsible section in Wix. So if you're interested, let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering here, how do you create a collapsible section in Wix? Well, creating a collapsible section in Wix is fairly easy, but there are going to be a few things that you need to know here. So in this case, uh, if you're wondering if you could add this uh, immediately on or an ordinary Wix editor here, well, unfortunately, you won't, you won't be able to do that. You need to use Velo in order for you to achieve this. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your editor. You want to go to dev mode at the very top here, and you want to turn this on. Now, once you turn this on, you should get this uh, home section or this uh, code section that you could use. Now, what we do need to do here is we need to get a code that was published by Wix himself, so you don't you, you don't have to worry about it. So what it does is uh, what it uh, we are going to use the dynamic section here instead. So by the way, you can search the following um, article here. This is directly from Wix, which is Velo Velo by Wix. So yeah, so you can go and copy their uh, dynamic section here, and we'll just need to apply this into our Wix editor. Now, just give you an example, I created different containers here. So this is a container box that I added some text on it. So I attach I attach the actual text inside the container box. And I have a container, another container box here that has the following text. But as you can see, the text itself, or the as you can see, when I move around things, I have the plus and minus button. So just to give you an idea here. So what I did is since I've added all the elements here. Uh, what I did here is for the plus button, you don't have to do much here, but you need to add an ID or plus sign ID. So exactly as this one. Now from here, you want to go to the minus here and you want to add the minus sign ID and you want to make sure it's hidden. Now from here, you want to go ahead and move this over or move the plus button over the minus sign. Now for this text, nothing much here. You can just basically add whatever text you want to add. And in here, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and select your container box. And you want to name this or add an ID that says place collapsible box. Now for the other elements here, doesn't uh, matter here as long as it's attached inside your container, you should be good. But yeah, so what you need to do here is you want to make sure that, every, like I said before, the name should be correct and as uh, exactly as it is. Now, just to give you some information here, what this uh, code or uh, Velo code here does is it actually uh, reveals and also hides different elements. So it's quite basic, but yeah, so that, that's what ex it ex exactly does. So also, by the way, the container box should be hidden. So we want to make sure it's hidden. Same with the minus box that we added before. So this one should be hidden as well so that we could use it properly or when it's actually loaded up, it's going to be available. But yeah. So in this case, like what I said before, names should be exactly as they are. So collapsible box is this one. Plus sign is going to be this one. Minus sign is going to be that one. And collapse button is going to be the actual container of our uh, text and plus and minus uh, symbols here. So again, add the ID for it. Now, once you actually try using this, let's go and click on run. So in this case, uh, it should give you the option to expand it or uh, collapse it but just in case this uh, does, uh, doesn't work what you could do is you could actually uh, let's go ahead and open this up here let's go ahead and stop this back to editor here so in here instead of hidden you want to make sure that it's set to collapse because again it's going to be under either collapse or uh, hidden or uh, expanded so let's go ahead and run this again and see if that works and let's go ahead and click on plus minus as you can see it's now or we now have the collapsible section here in Wix. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Enough of the Inspo. Thank you for watching.